I work in a different way to a lot of people. There's a few different ways that you can do the same thing and I've been told a lot that it's wrong. Proving people wrong makes me feel great. I really struggled at school. I always tried to fit in a lot and I think that I just shouldn't have bothered. When I went to university and found people that were more like me was a really special time for me because I relaxed so much and I think I just would tell my 15 year old self to just stay weird and explore and play and the people that I need around me have come and the people that I don't need around me I have very much removed from my life. I was actually born in the Middle East, I was born in Oman. Um, moved to London when I was six, so, and I've pretty much been here ever since. But I always like to call myself a maker because that can be so many different things. I make imagery, I make pieces, and it's just, yeah, I think that kind of encompasses it a bit more. I never actually set out to make this my career path. I was actually in trend forecasting and fashion. Before that, I was a visual merchandiser and was so bored of everything being on a screen and I just wanted to do something with my hands. So just went on loads of different creative courses just for fun. And um, I got made redundant from that job and was like, well, I've been doing this for about a year. I'm enjoying it. I've been documenting the process on Instagram. It's, it's going well. I'm going to give myself six months to see what happens. And that was 10 years ago. I did things like write a business plan and everyone's always like, like, you know, what's next? And I'm like, I don't know, see what happens. I did get a lot of emails that were like, hello, sir, or, you know, all right, mate. And it was, I'd turn up to markets and they'd be like, oh, it's you. Hmm. And I, you know, if I, if I say it, like a, a male friend came and brought me a coffee and I was selling some things at a market or something, people would always direct their conversation to him. But then I went to, a, I went to an all girls school, a secondary school, and I did woodwork there. And my teacher was female. So it's sort of like, I've never thought of woodwork being a male thing. Social media is so fake. You know, you don't see that. You don't see the hours it takes to take one picture or like the weeks it takes to make a video. The, you know, the side of things you see on social media is always people celebrating these big things and it can really put pressure on you to want to do better. But then I also think that, hey, I, I made an amazing lunch today. Like why not celebrate all the amazing things that we get to do? Doing what I want and doing what I love is, yeah. I think that's such an achievement for me and I, yeah, I don't know, I can't even imagine what I'd be doing if it wasn't this. There's so many parts of me that are really special and important and different and unique and that's, that's, that's why I'm here doing this and the failures don't matter. There have been so many different things that would put a lot of people off from doing certain things or from, you know, from continuing in life and you look back and you're like, I cannot believe I got through that and you, yeah, you, you will get through it, you'll do it and you'll make the most of it.